Hi, I'm Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is a tutorial of how to embed an interactive zooming, swooping Prezi inside a PDF document. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description of this YouTube video to our forum where all the important stuff is going to be written down of what you need to do and how. Uh, and also, you can download all the files you see here and, uh, and follow this or you know, simply use it to investigate and create your own. So um, first of all, you obviously need a Prezi, which I've created, and I've exported it as a portable version. So you can do that from Prezi.com, or you can do it from Prezi's desktop editor. Um, I've obviously got a PDF file or uh, document that I'm going to embed my Prezi in. You can create that or take an existing one. And you'll see here there is an SWF or flash file that I'm going to use to embed to show my Prezi. And uh, First of all, um, let me just pop into this folder. Um, now, this is obviously on a PC. This works on a Mac as well. You just adjust it accordingly. If you don't know how to do that, ask, and I'll create another video for that. But um, basically, inside your exporter, exported portable Prezi, you'll see three things, data folder, the Prezi executable for the Mac, and the Prezi executable for the PC. You can disregard these two. You don't need them. So anyway, that's the uh, that's what Prezi looks like. Um, this is my PDF document. So if I just open that, because this is what we're going to use to uh, embed the Prezi within. Now, uh, three important considerations. First of all, in order to create an embedded Prezi within a PDF, you need the commercial PDF professional uh, application from Adobe. Um, which you have to buy, or you can download a free 30-day trial if you wish. You will also need Adobe Flash Player. This will not work purely in a PDF on its own. Um, and in order to view the resulting um, Prezi inside the PDF, if you're doing it or you're sending it to someone else as a single PDF document, they will need to use the free Adobe Reader or PDF Reader. This is what normally people would use to view PDF documents. It will not work in other PDF viewers. OK, so we're in the professional version, the paid for version. And uh, you'll see here, top right, you'll see uh, a little tab called Tools. So first things we need to do is click that. And what comes up is a set of menu items. So in the menu items, you'll see Content. Click that. And if you cursor it down, you will see a tab called Multimedia. If you click that, you will see a tab called SWF. So if you click that, move your cursor over the PDF document, you'll see that it turns into a crosshair. Uh, now what you need to do is hold the left hand mouse key down and then drag your mouse to the relative size of how big you want your Prezi to be displayed within the PDF document. So I'm going to kind of do it roughly the same size. And once you've dragged it to the relevant size, you let go. And what comes up is, um, is a, a, a browser button, which allows you to go and search for the flash file that you need to embed. So I'm just going to hit Browse. And you'll see here um, within the document um, this SWF file. So you can download this, as I say, from the link. Um, in the bottom of this YouTube video, or if you're following it on the forum, there is a link at the bottom to download all these files. So I'm going to click that once, click Open. And what that basically does is it sets the path for embedding the PDF document, uh, the flash file within the PDF document. Bearing in mind this is going to actually be inside the PDF document. You don't need this file to be sent with it. Once you've, uh, once you've done that, you need to click this little tick box, Show Advanced Options. Uh, this is really kind of the key part of how this is going to function. So I won't go through all of these. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, activation, enable when, so you can set how you want the Prezi to load. You can set it to be on click, which I wouldn't recommend. So I'm going to do it on when the page containing the content is opened. And I'm going to disable it when it's closed. And you can do some other things here, like set transparency. And in the SWF, you can do some cool stuff like pass flash variables. I'll do another video on that if anybody's interested. The most important thing, though, is to actually load the content of your Prezi. So right back at the beginning, when I showed you inside the Prezi folder, you need to add 
a directory that's within that folder. So what you need to do is click the Resources tab. And what we need to do is add the data directory from our Prezi. So click the Add Directory. Now you need to go back, and in mine it's not clear, but I'm just going to go back and find where I've got my Prezi. Here it is. And inside my folder, you'll see the data folder. So this is the same on your Prezi as well. So just click Data, click OK, and you'll see all that content is now loaded inside the PDF as well. Great. OK. So once we've done that, that's it. Uh, all we need to do is click OK. And what it does is it goes ahead and builds and populates all that content inside the PDF document. And what you sort of end up with is this um, blue shape and this, uh, this black outline um, silhouette. So as it stands at the moment, this isn't obviously showing because we set the Prezi to play when the document's open. So what we obviously need to do now is close it. So let's save it and exit out of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just delete my Prezi. And I'm going to delete that SWF file. And I'm just going to go and empty my recycle bin. So all I have now is the PDF. That's all that I've got. All the contents loaded inside. And you'll see the size of the PDF, um, which kind of indicates that there's, you know, it's quite a big document now because it's got all this content inside it. So if we simply double click that, And there's my Prezi inside my PDF document. So this is one I just downloaded, but you, know, you can try it with your own content. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just click through it, as we normally would. And it does all this cool stuff. And we can set it to autoplay. If you want to do that, obviously, you don't have to. The one thing it won't do, actually, um, is it will not go full screen. But hey, you know, it's just uh, an unofficial hack. Um, so let's get rid of that for the moment, and let's go and zoom in, and let's go home. So there you have it. That's how to get an interactive Prezi inside a PDF document, and there are no additional files or folders. Plus, it gives you the option, I guess, if you want to kind of protect the content of your Prezi, it's really difficult to extract uh, the content of an embedded uh, embedded multimedia within a PDF document. A couple of other things. Anybody out there thinking they're going to be clever, and because this is in a PDF document, they can upload it into a Prezi and, in effect, create a Prezi inside Prezi. Don't bother. That won't work. Um, there's a few other things, but you know, I think the best thing to do is kind of explore it for yourself. Anyway, all the content, all the files you'll see or have seen here will all be available. Just click the, uh, the, the files at the bottom of this uh, tutorial. Um, and I hope it's been useful. Thanks very much.